video we are going to study the procedure which is used to determine the transfer function of a system The first step to determine the transfer function is write the differential equation of the given system first write its differential equation then we will proceed to the second step Now, after writing the differential equation of the given system, take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation and taking an assumption that all the initial conditions of the system are zero. Now, in step 3, take the ratio of the output to the input. In second step, you have taken the Laplace transform of the equation which we have obtained in step 1 and we have taken the assumption that all the initial conditions are 0. So now take the ratio of the output and the input. You have to first understand that what is the output of the system and what is the input of the system. And when you know the input and the output, then try to make or try to take out the ratio of the output and the input. So you will get the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the Laplace transform of the input. And also you have taken the assumption which, we, which is defined in the definition of the transfer function. So step 4 will be. So the step fourth is the ratio which you have obtained in the step three that is the ratio of the output to the input it is the required transfer function of the given system so these are the steps which you have to follow to determine the transfer function of a system let's summarize these steps in first step First, write the differential equation of the system. 
In second step, you have to take the Laplace transform of the equation and you have to take the assumption that all the initial conditions are zero. In step three, you have to take the ratio of the output to the input and in step fourth, the ratio which you have obtained will be the required transfer function of the given system. So I hope that you have understood the topic clearly. Thank you.